Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Danny's Life and Travel and as promised I am now going to show you today how I got into um, you know dealing in shares and buying shares and selling shares so first I was looking at Tesla Motors so um, long story short my, my dad has a taxi cab that he, he drives and um, he wanted me to buy the thing so um, you know, because he's getting a little old, they want me to manage it, buy it, sort it out. I said, uh, let me investigate a little bit. So I looked into cars and, you know, where technology was going, and I realised there's going to be autonomous cars in the future and all that kind of stuff. So one of the, the companies I, I got into was Tesla, Tesla Motors, uh, in uh, the bit in, I think, California, USA. So um, <clears throat> that company is uh, the one that really got me, got me onto all this. I don't know if you guys can see me properly, got bad lighting this morning. So anyway, um, what I ended up doing was um, just researching into them, and then uh, at one point um, I ended up looking at the stock and thinking maybe I can make money off the stock because I think they're going to do well in the future. So okay, what I did is I looked at the chart uh, for the previous years, and it looked like 185 was a good price point to get in on. So uh, at this point, what I did was I, I was going on holiday anyway in uh, January of 2016. So I went on holiday and one of the ideas was that I was, I'd be out there and I would try and make the trade from there because eventually that's what I want to do. I want to go sit on a beach and, you know, make my trades and live a decent life. So um, I was on holiday and I made my first trade. But the way I did it was I looked at 185 and... I'll just show you on the chart here. Let me see if I can do this. Um, so, um, just bear with me one moment. So, okay, so um, let's see. So, we, we have this chart here, um, and as you can see, and I started buying. I bought in at this point here. I don't know if I can put um, a bit of a, um, let me see, paintbrush. Um, if I could do this, so I bought around this point up here. So I bought there um, because I thought, you know, I'd missed the uh, the opportunity. I thought I'd uh, it's, it's gone um, below the 185 marker here, so I missed it. So maybe I should buy. So I bought here. It went up. <clears throat> In the day, I made about um, you know it was 900 to a thousand, roughly like that, few thousand dollars. Yeah, about 900 pounds, something like that. And then whilst I was on holiday for the next two weeks, I suffered pain because I was in too early, right? Didn't know. Um, but the, <laughs> the the weird thing about this was my holiday ended on February 9th. And this is February 9th at the bottom here. So if you have a look at that, you know, if I had followed my plan, which was originally to come back from holiday and then put in the trade, I would have, when I came back from holiday, I would have seen this. And I would have put in the trade here, and I would have been fine. You know, I would have doubled my money pretty much. But I, I got into early, right? And I, and I didn't just put all of it in Tesla. <clears throat> I put half of it into Mobileye because the CEO of Tesla said that Mobileye, uh, they're using Mobileye chips for self-driving cars. And I looked into Mobileye, and this seemed like a decent company that was going places that, that would be doing stuff. So, so basically, I, I put half in, in this, half in Mobileye. And this went down, and Mobileye went down as well at the same time. So, <clears throat> as you can see, eventually went back up again. I, I made back that money, and I made more money. So, about at this point here, somewhere uh, at 265 range, I was making, as I think it was, I was in profit by about seven to ten ten thousand dollars, about ten thousand dollars, I think. Yes, um, seven thousand pounds, maybe a little more. Um, but then I knew my, my weakness was, because it's my first time trading stocks, my, my weakness was I didn't know what to sell, when should I sell. I knew the highest point had been, um, you know, one, uh, what is it, 285. So I thought it's 265, it might come down a little, but then it might go back up. But then it went sideways. I thought still it might go back up. Then it didn't, it went down. So I still held on, I thought still it might go back up. <laughs> so <clears throat> doing all this, right... Um, I lost all the gains pretty much and then got some back around it, it wasn't here actually it went back up here and then went back down again and we had in the UK there was a, a Brexit vote around this time if you can see this point so 
So let me just try and put another arrow here. So this is the Brexit vote here um, at this point, and then uh, after that it shot back up again, and I sold around here somewhere. Um, so this was about I think June time, um, but at the same time as I was doing this, I was also um, interested in Facebook, and just hold on, I will show you the Facebook chart. Okay, guys, let me just show you the the chart again. Um, so we have um, the Facebook chart right here, as you can see. So what I did with the the Facebook chart, I'll just um, quickly pick. Yeah. So so basically, I came in on the. Let me see if I can do this. All right, I've got it. So I came uh, in on the Facebook stock. So I was looking at Facebook stock, and Facebook stock is, uh, it has about a 37% gain year over year. So I thought it was a safe bet. It's been going up for five years continuously. So I thought I could I could use this, you know, I could, um, uh, you know, it's a safe bet. I could always make money from this. So I came into Facebook around this point. Um, this was after the uh, Brexit vote. Again, this, this point here was a Brexit vote. Um, let me see if I can make a little arrow thing here. So yeah, so that's the Brexit vote. That's where I came in at. It was um, 114. And then after that, it just kept going up and up and up. And about here, I think this was earnings here. So at 127, yeah. And I sold it here. So I sold it around here. So, okay. All right. So um, I sold it there. And then there was the the next earnings, which, as you can see, this is what happened in the earnings. But anyway, I bought again. You know, I didn't know this was going to happen. You know, this is this is easy to see. Um, so, um, so what I did was, uh, you know, I thought, okay, it's going to go up, continue going upwards. You know, it'll continue to go up that way. So um, um, that was my idea. And I thought, okay, I'll come in again because on here I came in one month before the earnings, so it was June, I think, beginning of June, and then end of June, uh, we had, uh, uh, or is the end of Ju July, we had the um, uh, the earnings. So I did the same. I think it was October, it's October time. Again, I came in on in October. I can't see exactly on this chart where I came in. But uh, as you can see, <clears throat> what happened to it was that there was uh, they had the earnings, so it, it went down before the earnings, right? So it, it went up and then went down before the earnings around here, and then I thought, okay, I thought you know it's a little strange because previously it just kept going up and up and up, but there was there was a little dip before uh, the earnings right here, around here this part, so I thought maybe it's. It's the same, you know, maybe it's a similar type of thing. Um, let me see, if I make a little arrow here. So, yeah, so I thought maybe it'd be a similar kind of thing here. So, I thought, uh, uh, let's stay in. So, I stayed in, and um, on the earnings, the CFO said there'd be a, a noticeable slowdown in earnings. So, basically, the they have about, um, there's about a billion and a half people in the world who have, um, who, who have the capability of going online. The rest of the people, you know, I know there's about seven, eight billion people, whatever it is. I think it's nine billion now, but they, the rest of the people don't have internet access. You know, there's uh, the majority of people on the planet don't have internet access uh, and live, you know, are relatively poor. Um, and there's about a, a billion and a half in the in the rich countries who have internet access. And Facebook has tapped them out pretty much. Now they have WhatsApp and other applications that they've bought and they've got Oculus and everything, but. The, the biggest producer right now was the normal Facebook, the website with the Facebook Messenger, you know, the messaging app and all that. So they monetized all of that. And they said, you'll see a, uh, a noticeable slowdown. Not that it'll, they'll lose money, but it'll, it'll slow down the pace at which they are making money. So so th that, those are the only words. And because of that, it went down, right? I sold it at one, I think 122 around here somewhere um, yeah I got out I mean I, I was told by uh, <clears throat> my girlfriend at the time that you know you should 
stay in. But I thought I said to her, no, I said, there's going to be a lot of you know uncertainty, volatility, maybe people be scared. Up until earnings, this is a big question mark, big, you know, very dangerous. So, so that's what I did with this stock. And I, you know, I managed to, you know, I, I lose about 10%. So basically what I made on, on this previous, um, you know, trade, um, I lost on this one pretty much. So now I'm back to pretty much zero. I mean, I, I have, I have a few thousand from the earlier, uh, Tesla one, but that's it. Right. So I haven't made much. Next, what did I do? What was the next one? Let me pull up the next chart for you. Okay, guys. So we have the next chart right here. Um, I'll just show you this one. This one is for Nvidia. So we had the U.S. elections, and Donald Trump uh, was elected. You know, we I suspected that it would happen. The the two predictions I made for the year was <coughs> uh, Brexit vote would would lead to you know, would vote to leave for the U.K. And the only reason reason why it wouldn't happen is because the rich guys wouldn't allow it to happen. That's the only reason. If it's up to the people, it would happen. That was number one. And uh, the, the 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 pound would go down against the dollar, so get into dollars and you make money. I knew that. Uh, the number two prediction I made uh, was about the Donald Trump uh, election. That there was a strong chance, about 80, 90 percent chance that he would win. But the the issue with that was we didn't know uh, how far down the markets would fall. But everyone suspected, and I thought, yeah, the markets would fall naturally, you know, because you think, uh, hold on, this guy is saying no immigrants. He's gonna, you know be anti-immigrant in many ways and he's gonna maybe um pick a fight with china so not good for business for anyone right in the in the short to medium term i'm saying maybe long term it's, it's a lot better it's possible you know yeah it's a good thing to bring jobs back and all that kind of stuff but in the short to medium term it's going to be a lot of volatility so um so anyway um what i decided to do was go for um for, go for this um what do you call it Hold on a minute. So, um, so I decided to um, go for Nvidia. So basically, um, I went on CNBC. I don't really trust Jim Cramer, you know. But he said that if um, after the Trump, you know, if if Trump wins, you know, and everything goes down, go for Nvidia because Nvidia has earnings right after. But I, I was I was mulling it over. So this is where the earnings were, as you can see. And I didn't trust Cramer, so I didn't go in, right? And then this happened, right? <laughs> so I, I would have made about a good 10 grand right there, but I, I didn't go in. Um, finally, you know, um, I, I, I thought, okay, I'll buy it on the dip. So a dip happened. It wasn't a big enough dip for me right here, um, as you can see. Um, and then I, I still, you know, didn't go in. Then it went, kept going higher. Then, But at this point, I gave up. I thought, okay, I will buy. You know, it, it, was, it wasn't a good choice. You know, everyone gets emotional once in a while and you make the wrong choice because um it was like a, it's like a hockey stick anytime anytime you have like a like a hockey stick type of uh, formation you don't buy but anyway i, I did it anyway <clears throat> so i paid the price so i went down by 10 percent right here this is 10 percent lost right Let's see if i can get this done so anyway that's 10 percent right there and then um <clears throat> uh, it went back up yeah, so it went down, it went up, then down, then it went up around um, 205, somewhere around here, and somewhere around here, this is where I sold it. So I made my 10%. So now I'd made 10% uh, of my cash, and I'd, I'd also, I also had a few thousand from before, so I was, I was doing okay. Um, you know, you're looking about, total about seven, seven, eight grand, okay, for the year. So this is, I mean, the year is pretty much done. So um, I then went over to uh, AMD. So I, I won't pull up the chart. It's just too much hassle. Um, but anyway, you can see AMD on this here. It's down. It's down to 9.75. I bought into AMD. So it was a similar kind of thing, thing as in the video. So it went up to um, on, on its about 11 was around here so let's say this is the MD chart you've got 11 around here 11.6 that's why I bought it and I thought it'd go higher because it had more potential you have it's, it's only got a, it had a market market cap of 10 billion the video has 55 billion market cap and so does um, um, you know um, what is it? Intel has 179 billion market cap and AMD has two products coming out this year so you've got the 
Ryzen CPU and the uh, Vega GPU, which are bo both high-end, you know, segment, high-end market segment products. So I thought if they if, he, if they could take even five percent from each uh, segment, they could you know increase the market cap. So it'd be maybe uh, fifteen billion, right? So it'd be fifteen dollars uh, a share. So um, so I went in at eleven point five, and as you can see right now, I'm down by ten percent. It's at it's actually fifteen percent. I'm down. Um, I think I've lost about nine nine thousand nine grand. But anyway, it's at nine point seven five. So I bought in at eleven point six. Yeah, see that there. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's where we're at right now. And going forward, it's actually gone flat now. So it's it's pretty much similar to <clears throat> the video. Come down, and then now it's for a couple of days. It's gone flat. Uh, two three days. It's kind of flat, a little bit down. But um, in the future, I hope to. I hope it uh, will get up and go up. I mean, it, it makes good logical sense for it to go up, um, and that's what I'm doing. Um, I gave myself six months worth of uh, money to survive on to see if my theory is right. If not, um, I'm gonna have to scramble and try and find a job or find another way to make money. Anyway, guys, that's my video about how you know what I did, how to, how I started, and all the trades I've done this year. And uh, if you want to uh, ask me any questions, uh, any any advice on you know even day trading, I did some. I'm currently helping my sister on day trading as well, so we're we're doing that. And um, you know we we made some progress this week, so we're, make, we're making some money. But if you want to know the ideas, the you know the different techniques we use and what we do, happy to answer your questions. Happy to help you. So um, yeah, so I'll see you next time, guys. Good luck. Um, take care. Bye.